Well, it's been a quick change ever. We're over to the what it calls the small pond now. It sounds strange because the uh, silverfish pond's a lot smaller than this, but it's supposed to be a mixed species pond again. I've never fished this one before. Carp, F1s, barbel. As I said before, it is the 23rd of December, so I'm not expecting great things of it. Should imagine my rig will be miles too long to start with. Have to trip it off. Well, I'm going to fish with. I've got four mil expanders. Four mil expanders that I'm going to actually feed some of them and fish with them, and I might set a maggot line up as well. But it is only a two hour session, so I'm not going to have a lot of time to do much of anything. So, the rig I'm using today it's got strung out number eights and nines. I'm to a size 0.12 up length to an 18, barbless obviously, to a 0.4 gram wire stem float. It's about four foot deep, four and a half. Never fished this one before, as I say, so it'll be interesting. It's supposed to be when the float goes under, you don't know what the fish will be. First thing you've got to do, of course, is get the float to go under. I've not got any back shot on at the minute. The wind's more over me back here. It's a lot warmer on this pond than it was the other one. And of course, what you're always after is that first bite. Oh, that's lucky. Look, shot like it's dotted down. Absolutely perfect. Now all we need is an obliging fish to come and suck that in. I've had about a dozen four mils, four mil expanders to start with. Not put any maggots in just yet. On, so I'll feed another line if I have to, but I'm hoping that'll get a few bites on this. Two hours of fishing, see if we can get one. There's a bite, or a line. An indication, it's always a good sign. I hope it's not roach. That's what it looks like it is. Oh well. At least it's a bite straight away. Was a little bit better. Give it.
towel because the skimmers are a bit slimy. You can see from the top of my pole there the elastic's not running very well. It's been a while since this got used and we've got to bring the uh, lubricant for down the centre of the pole so it's not running very well. But So they've got a short strung out bulk, so it's uh, about an inch or so apart, so near the near the up length, get the bait down. So I'm gonna have to feed a bit. I put in a few in about 30 40. Looks like they're having a munch. So it's why stem float to try and give it a bit more stability with it being windy. float wafting about so much. Fishing pellet you're trying to get the float as stable as you can. Fishing just about dead depth. Here's what I were hoping for on the bread punch, not on the uh, pellet. One of my mates says he fishes this quite a few times in the winter because he can usually come here and catch plenty of fish. And the way it started it looks like it is. Might definitely be worth giving it another go. During winter I mean it's, I'd hate to think what you'd catch here in summer. Great venue, that is Holland's Park, uh, Holland's Caravan Park. Five quid a day the fishing. Very friendly site. The keep nets he charges a pound for. You have to you have to use his keep nets, which is fair enough nowadays with the cross contamination of different waters. Can't blame anybody for wanting to look after that and for a pound, six quid for the day with a net. What else can you do for six quid a day? Fishing nine meters. Never like to fish too long with a pole. Going my back aches. Feels like another skimmer. Alright, I must be getting older, my hands don't seem to work as well as they used to. Either that or the fish have got slippier. It is quite cold today. Nice skimmer.
to three quarters of an hour in and it's still all roach. Plenty of bites. And a couple of inches of a depth now just to see if it makes any difference but it uh, doesn't seem to. Wherever I seem to put it the rotor at it straight away. A bit better. Probably a skimmer. Welcome fish. One thing on this lake, you don't get cold, that you don't shipping in and out. So the amount of bites you get in it really is almost like summer fishing, it's just that they're unfortunate they're the wrong fish. If there is such a thing as a wrong fish at this time of year. So did he one? been a disaster by any means, so plenty of bites, but it's been nice to have got some better fish. I think to be honest I'd have caught as many of these a lot shorter, probably two plus two even. I think they're, they're particularly bothered about coming nearer in. It's only fish nine metres because, well, the time of year you expect to catch fish further out. Water's a bit clearer. They tend to spook a bit more so you tend to fish a bit further out. But I really don't think it made any odds. I think you'd have got the, the roach near in. Might even have fished better on the whip in this pond than it did the other. They're just nipping at the pellet and I don't think a lot of them are big enough to actually take it. Not striking too hard because if I strike too hard the pellet comes off and then you've got to ship all the way back in again. It's the trouble with fishing soft baits. Fished a bit heavier elastic in this one because I thought them better some chance of getting some better fish. It's actually a ten this is. The fish I'd have added have done better with about a four or five.
for baby skimmer. Actually laying on the bottom a bit now, if I put the float in sort of straight, as you might say, drop it straight down, the shots are actually on the bottom. So it's really anchored it now, so it's not dragging about quite as much. You've got to try these different things to see if a different presentation will produce a better fish, but sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. There's nothing worse than going home and thinking, oh, I should have tried that. Let's do a bit better size. The time I get this video done, I suppose it'll be New Year, so or just before New Year. So hope everybody has a happy New Year and uh, catches loads of fish. The main thing is you all stay healthy and your family stay healthy. Eh? There's one thing with the shot laying on the bottom, as soon as you pick it up you can see the float lift out the water. Well, we're getting a few F1s and that in the other pond, might get a few F1s in here, but uh, it's not happened. Nothing stranger than fishing. Not bothered feeding a maggot line, we're getting plenty of bites I've stuck on this. I don't really think change of bait will make any difference. No matter what I do, it doesn't seem to produce a better fish. <laughs> And it's not bad in just a couple of hours. Got a few nice skimmers in there, hybrids. Apart from that, it's all roach. Not a bad afternoon session. Two hours. What more can you want? Back you all go. 